All right, let's talk about the final destination. This is the last one. So, oh, they made another. <laughs> oh, they never do that. They never, they never ever say that this is going to be the last one and then make another one in horror series. Anyway, all right, so this is the NASCAR one. And I personally despise NASCAR. But if you like it, anyone else, that's cool. I don't care. I just personally think it is the dumbest shit ever. So uh, I probably just like lost 10 people. <laughs> I don't understand it. Anyway, um, the, the CGI in this movie is noticeably awful. Like, <laughs> this is some bad CGI. And it's usually during, like, his premonition moments like when he sees these little clues and it's like really bad video game cgi i don't know what they were going for there i'm guessing that's for the 3d because this movie was like pushed in 3d and it's bad like it's really really bad um and it takes you out of it a, a lot um one of the characters is a racist and you just can't wait for the guy to die quick enough and he dies twice in the movie which is always interesting with these films you get pretty much every character gets double death which you don't get to see a lot of characters die more than once in a movie unless it's like a groundhog day type film um, so basically every one of these movies you get to see characters die twice which means there's more chances for on-screen gore if you have 10 people dying in a movie you get 20 kills so i like that i like that you get to kind of see it and i get to see this racist die twice he gets cut in half once then he gets dragged behind a truck and caught on fire so his deaths especially the one where he's caught on fire and drugged down the road uh, is very satisfying now I've said this a million times and I've kind of been waiting for this movie to talk about this. I am a hairdresser. I've said this plenty of times. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know what I do for a living outside of this. Um, not that I actually do this for a living. I don't make anything. <laughs> but what I actually do for a living is what I should say. Uh, I have never, ever seen more absurd hairdressing in a film in my life or a TV show or anywhere. Like, I've seen hairdressing in tons of movies. You see it all over the place. Dumb shit here and there. And some of it's so I'm like, that's kind of what they do. And then other stuff is like, like that's pretty bad. This is the worst 10 times over. Now, I kind of get that they're going for like the slicing and the, and the scissors crunching together and all this stuff. But the way they're holding the hair and the way they're cutting into the hair and the way that she's clipping the hair and the way that everything is done, the pedicures and every, I just am sitting there and I'm laughing out loud. This must be what it's like for doctors to watch ER. You know, they just must be like, no one does that. That would not work. You would kill that person. That's not a thing. But, like, that's how I was during this scene. Like, this is probably why most doctors have to just, like, roll their eyes. Or, or lawyers, when they watch, you know, these big lawyer movies. Uh, whatever your profession is, I don't get to see hairdressing in, in film all that much. And I always remember this one being terrible. And it was worse than I remember it going back. I was like, Jesus Christ. It's not even possible. Like, what they show... The girl's hair would be just like block messes, bangs would be missing, it'd be chopped into the... Oh my god. Anyway, moving on. I just, as a hairdresser, I have to talk about it. It's bad. Um, even though the friend uh, here, I didn't write his name down, the, the dickhead with the, with the blonde hair who goes to the pool to get laid... Um, even though he's an asshole in the movie and he's an unlikable character, I have to say that his whole if I'm dying, I'm trying motto, I have to commend the guy and, and, and say that I would be right there with him. Like, I know I'm going to die soon. I want to go get laid. Like, that's my first intention. That's what he finds out. He's like, I'm dying. All right, I'm trying. Like, I'm going to go get laid. And he sure does. Um, so, and then he gets his... He gets his innards sucked out through his anus. So I don't know if that's trying to say that he's an asshole, which he is. <laughs> but uh, as absurd as that death is, it's ridiculously asinine, no pun intended. Um, 
it's still just one of the most horrendous things I can think of happening to me. Imagine having your innards sucked out through your asshole <laughs> while you're drowning, mind you. Oh, God. Um, another thing that this movie kind of pulls off, I remember seeing the trailer to this years ago, you know, before it came out, and I saw that there was going to be a killer car wash. And I was just like, a killer car wash? Come on, you guys are really pulling here. This is all you got? And I have to say, it's pretty effective. I mean, the way they do it, the way they set it up, you'd be kind of fucked. And it's scary, like when her head's pinned and there's water below and the thing's coming down, it's about to hit her in the face. Now, how the two main characters, like the two other characters, just chance it and run right into a car wash and they don't even know if that's the car wash she's in or if that's the car or anything they just drive straight into somebody's car on a whim and they're not even a hundred percent convinced at this point that this is a for sure thing happening i just thought that was funny that he just drove straight in hit the car in front of him and couldn't even tell who he was pushing for like a good while before they finally got through the wire and through the thing and saw who it was. But that was one risky ass move. They could be in jail right now. Um, and there's uh, some callbacks to the original here. They're sitting in section 180, which 180 is obviously a reoccurring number throughout this movie being flight 8 180. And uh, they pull up next to a water truck, and the water company is called Clear Rivers. I thought those were just cute little throwbacks. Um, and th <laughs> there's a three, they go to a 3D movie within this 3D movie, and while they're sitting and watching the 3D movie, the screen blows up and comes at them truly in 3D. So it's like a movie within a movie within a movie. Um, now, here's another little plot hole, I guess, that I found in this one. Like, it's going to happen. I'm not, like, cutting the movie down because of it. But in the last one, I found one that didn't make any sense. Frankie dropping the camera is what ultimately led to the crash. So why did it crash if he didn't drop his camera because he wasn't on the thing? In this one, he goes and he has a premonition that the place is... He has a second premonition... And he goes to the theater because he sees that, like, tons of people die in that theater. So if he prevented that from happening, then why is it only him and his friends? I mean, it's, you could debate that all the other people that were saved in the theater ended up dying too. Um, they lost their Alex, though. So they didn't even they didn't even stand a chance. They probably just dropped dead one by one. But it, you know, I guess it's not a plot hole as much as it's just like maybe pointing it out. Like, oh, I guess probably everyone in the theater later end up dying. I guess because a bunch of people died and he saved them from dying. Them the rules. This was definitely the worst of the five. I've watched all five of them now. Um, as I said, I've I've watched them all all five. A couple times in my life, but uh, since I was reviewing them and writing everything down, this is this is the poorest one of them all. Um, three was better, but not a ton better. Um, and five, which I've already watched, as I said, is considerably better than this. Um, I didn't love a lot of the kills in this. It just felt, I don't know, thrown together. Um, so... I wasn't a huge fan of this one. I still enjoyed it enough, though. I wasn't, like, bored watching it. It was just kind of like, all right, anyway, moving on. All right, so moving on.